Look at this family picture. In a family, grandparents are the central characters and every individual in the family is connected to them. Network topology is similar to a family where the server is the central character and other devices are the family members connected to it. If you go to your computer lab, you will find all the computers connected through cable. This is called network topology. It is the structure or the layout in which the components such as the cable, computer etc. are connected together in a network. You will find computers connected to each other in the computer lab. They are called nodes in network topology. In other words, devices that are in the network are called nodes. Like in a family where there are different relations such as grandparents, parents, siblings, auntie etc. There are different types of network topologies like bus, star, ring, mesh and tree. Let us discuss each topology in detail. Bus topology uses a single common cable to connect all the nodes. The common cable acts as a backbone for the network. One of the computers acts as a computer server. Bus topology has its own advantages and disadvantages. Advantages include easy connectivity and low cost. Disadvantage is when the main cable breaks, the entire network goes down and it is difficult to troubleshoot. Now, let's look at star topology. Unlike bus topology, where there is a common cable, star topology connects each computer to a central hub. The central hub acts as a server to control the entire network. Let us now look at the advantages and disadvantages of star topology. The advantages of star topology are that the startup costs are low. It is easy to add new nodes and the network is robust. The disadvantage of star topology is that when the central hub fails, the entire network goes down. Also, it is expensive because of the high investment in central hub. The next type is called the ring topology. Just like the close-ended shape of a ring, the computers in this type of network are connected in a circular form or closed loop. The messages are transmitted in one direction, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Each computer is directly connected to the next computer, forming a single pathway for signals through the network. Ring topology is simple and easy to set up. Ring topology has its own set of advantages and disadvantages. The advantage of ring topology is that the cost is low. It is easy to add new nodes and the network is robust. Disadvantage is when one computer fails, the entire network goes down. Now, let us look at a slightly complex type of network topology called the mesh topology. In mesh topology, every node has a direct point-to-point -point connection to all other nodes. Because all connections are direct, and the network can handle a high volume traffic. Now, let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of mesh topology. The advantage of mesh topology is, it can connect more computers and the network is robust. Disadvantage is, it has redundant connections because every device in the network is connected to all the other devices. So, if one device fails, the entire network goes down. A tree topology is also known as a star bus topology because it has elements of both bus topology 
and star topology. Each hub is like the root of a tree. In tree topology, the central nodes of two star networks are connected to one another. The advantage of tree topology is it is flexible for expansion. The disadvantage is it is difficult to configure and is more expensive. Let us summarize what you have learned in this video.